If you're planning on making a move in 2020, you should know that taking everything you own with you isn't practical. That's why most people try to reduce their belongings before they move. There's even a term for it, downsizing. And it can be a very positive experience if you go about it the right way. Hi, I'm Rich Barnes, owner broker of Realty Experts in West Dallas, Wisconsin, and I've helped hundreds of people downsize over the last 20 years, and I have five tips to help, help make it less stressful for you. Downsizing for retirement, everyone needs a plan. Make no mistake, downsizing your home is a lot harder than just getting rid of some of your stuff. Half the battle is making all those decisions about what exactly you do or you don't need. Tip number one. If you're about to tackle the big task of downsizing your home and making a move to a retirement facility, a condominium, an apartment, or even to a warmer climate, start by easing yourself into the right mindset. This may be the most important tip, so if you do nothing else, at least do this first step. The right attitude can make a big difference, which is why you shouldn't bother starting until you understand this. It won't be easy. But getting rid of some belongings can actually feel great. Tip number two, adjust your mindset and focus on all the benefits. You'll be a lot easier and give yourself plenty of time. You'll be making hundreds of tiny decisions about all the things you own. So downsizing is best done in small spurts. We're talking months, ideally, to really get the job done right. Tip number three, take a good hard look at your stuff. Take a look around. Is your home full of things that bring you joy? When you walk into a living room, do you feel delighted or do you feel, yeah? Your belongings should uplift your spirits, comfort you, provide practical functions in your life. The trick is seeing clearly whether they do or do not fill these basic needs. Tip number four, learn to love letting go. There are lots of ways to make downsizing your home for retirement less stressful. One way is to use the three box method. One box for yes, keep it. One box for no, don't keep it. And one box for yeah, maybe keep it. Tip number five, once you view decluttering process as positive, and once you learn to ex assess your belongings and start loving the act of letting them go, it's time to get real and make some cash. Not all of your things will be marketable, but lots of people have plenty of cash locked up into their stuff. What doesn't sell, you can donate, give away, or send it to the trash. I hope you found my downsizing tips helpful. If I can answer any questions for you, or if you're ready to make the big move in 2020, feel free to reach out. I'm here to help. Thanks and have a great day.